Hey guys, this is episode number five in the build series. This time it actually is number five. Last uh, video I put out, I ended up mixing it up and saying it was five when it was actually four. So anyway, this one's episode number five. In this series, or this episode, it's going to be mostly chassis stuff on the vehicle. And it was all necessary part of the project. And it was all stuff that I needed to get done. So in this video, this is where I cover pretty well the bulk of all that stuff. And then after this video, it's, it's pretty much just like all the inside stuff. And yes, last weekend I did some more work in the van. That'll be coming. It's all part of the build series. Um, but I'm going to be keeping that stuff rolling out in a linear fashion. And I'm also speeding up the edits. So I actually ended up editing three build videos today. It's probably 8 p.m. today and I've been doing this all day long. Um, the other ones need to be worked on a little bit more before they're actually ready to let go. But I'll probably be releasing those um, shortly here after this one goes out. Anyway, um, hope you like it. See you soon. So I'm getting ready to uh, take the front wheels off. I've already loosened uh, the lug nuts. Those are coming off and today is the day that I'm going to put in the struts and the front brakes and the sway bars and also the sway bar bushings. Um, or sway bar bushings. Not the sway bars but the... Uh, what are these things? Sway bar links. So that's the uh, that's the plan. I've only got uh, like six hours to get all this work done. Uh, I've never done it before, so fingers crossed that it uh, it goes smoothly. I'm just gonna find a place for my my phone. I'm gonna do this and try and get those tires as in line as I can because the next step out of this is to get the alignment done and everyone's booked up until like, the earliest I got was Tuesday. So they're gonna do uh, the alignment on Tuesday. Um, the same place is also gonna install brand new winter tires all the way around. The wheels are off. I'm gonna be changing this. I'm gonna be changing this whole thing and I'm going to be changing that and then down here whoa, I can't get you down there I'm going to have to show you later there are some bushings down here that need to be swapped out too <clears throat> those are going to be hard to get to where are they anyway boom, 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 boom. oh there they are oh, those are tricky Those ones that I need to change are right in there. That sucks. That sucks. Well. Let's get to work. I am working on it and I'm putting on the last brake router. I want to let you know that I got the struts in, of course, and the new sway bar link it goes to the sway bar, which is that piece that kind of curves like that, and then goes up there. And way up there, that blue part, those are the new sway bar bushings. So those are installed in there too. So <clears throat> this is all going to be pretty interesting. I'll show you the other side. Uh, Light. Taking a little bit of time, but it's all right. So same thing. We got the sway bar bushing back up there, that blue part, and then there's the struts that we put in yesterday with the sway bar link, and there's the new rotor with new pads. And this side's done. It's been all cleaned up, so it's ready to go. So, almost done. And I'm gonna keep working. I'm not really gonna video this stuff. There's plenty of videos on doing this sort of thing. All done. Everything in the front is complete. So, got brand new rotors, new brake pads, 
new struts, new sway bar ends, new sway bar bushings on both sides. Now what's left is the rear shocks and the rear bump stops and new tires. So quite a few bits and pieces to do on this van, but I think after that it's going to be good for the road and uh, I'll probably get, actually I'll get one more windshield wiper for the back because these are brand new windshield wipers, but the one in the back needs to be replaced. Aside from that, everything after this is going to be <clears throat> going full tilt on the interior and uh, getting that up to speed. So right now it's it's a it's total mess, but that's the current setup. So Tupperware containers full of junk. Uh, bedding. That's it. Well, Tupperware's got my food in it and my clothes, actually. So it's not junk, but, you know, laundry, pair of shoes, cooler, tools. That's it. Yo. Set my phone up right there. All right. Just picked up a, uh, I believe the last car part, rear shock. That will work. Yep. There it is. Now I have both rear shocks. Um, so an update, those jounce stops, bump stops that I needed to order. Um, I was able to get them through the Chrysler dealership of all places. Um, and they're getting them in for me tomorrow morning. So uh, what I'll probably do is I'll do that work tomorrow. Um, just so that that's out of the way. Um, and then um, I haven't ordered the heater yet, but I'm gonna do that right now. I had to actually put some money on my credit card uh, cause it was pretty well maxed out just about um, been using it a lot lately and uh, spending a lot of money much more than normal um, just I knew that I was going to be putting some money into the van and I took care of some other like um, debts that I had owing in my business um, so then I just sorted out a bunch of things but uh, looking a little bit better from where I was when I had the Jeep but not a heck of a lot better, but I'm my living situation is vastly improved. I think uh, once this thing is built out, it's going to be a huge, huge, huge difference in my life for a little while. So that's it. Oh, I also picked up some uh, a new wiper blade for the back. Um, new headlights because one of them is burnt out, and also new tail lights. Um, I was thinking about ordering that stuff on Amazon, but I decided just to pick them up at Canadian Tire because I really wasn't sure what I was supposed to pick up or what I was looking for. So I'll go with this for now. I looked at the LEDs and there's a, like a whole conversion kit and it costs like $100. I'm like, I'm not going to do that. Not, not right now. I got them. So putting those on and putting the rear shocks on. And I'm gonna uh, replace the burnt out lights on the vehicle. Um, I did put on the new rear windshield wiper. I haven't even tried it out yet. Um, so once I get this done, everything's done on the outside and it's just gonna be the inside. So, and I've been working on a design um, for the bed um, and cabinets and all that stuff so that's that's gonna be kind of the next step so hopefully I can get a crack at this today here's one of the bump stops on the car see like that's all rotted out um, unfortunately this thing just I just grabbed it and it went pop and it came right off and that's supposed to be a screw or a bolt right there and it's totally rusted out so <clears throat> that really blows but I'm going to check the part numbers, make sure I got the right ones. 
And then uh, I'll show you what it looks like underneath the vehicle. Yep, those are the exact same part number. It's written right on it. Okay, so I got a bit of a problem. That's not there anymore. So I'm a little bit fucked. I mean, there's there's always a way to do every anything you want. But I'm probably gonna have to get really creative with this, which means it's gonna need some shop time, which sucks. Okay, there's the other one. Okay, um, I'm gonna make the decision right now not to install these myself. Um, I'm gonna bring it into a shop um, and have them take a look at it and see if they can get it off. I'm probably gonna take it um, to the one in Vancouver. I just feel like they're a little bit more honest and I'll give them a chance. Um, and hopefully they can just replace those pretty simply um, and they might have the tools to be able to do that. Now I know that bolt's rusted out totally in that hole. Obviously that's going to take a little bit more um, skill and I don't know if they'll have the equipment for that. Um, but my thinking is, is that there's a section on here where while this rubber part broke off, this metal part is still technically up in there so they can grab onto the edges of this and they might be able to get it to come out my fingers are crossed i'm really hoping that that's the case um, certainly if it has to be drilled out it's going to be a totally different thing but uh, i don't have a wrench that can go on the side of this um, i took a look at a clamp that i had even a c clamp nothing like that's going to work so it's a pretty specific tool I'm hoping somebody at the shop has one. <sighs> All that means is I'm going to divert my attention now because it's like it's Friday. I'm not going to bring it in there without an appointment. I'm going to lower the van down, keep the shocks. I might even get those guys to install the shocks for me um, and just say, hey, look, since you got it up there, can you just do this and this? Might as well. Um, I know I can do the shocks myself, but I don't want to put them in and then have no bump stops there because I'll just blow the shocks out and I got it jacked up right now. Um, I could go to the shop and say, hey, can you just put these in? Um, but I'm kind of wasting my time if I don't just say, well, you got the van up there, please just put the shocks in. So I'll give them both, both those things to do. So that's it. Good morning. So just an update, brought my van into this place. Um, these guys installed the new rear bump stops and the uh, rear shocks for me. Came to $206. Uh, they, they said they really struggled with it because those uh, bump stops are really seized in place. So I'm stoked. Um, I really like these guys quite a bit. Definitely would recommend them, uh, anybody in the Vancouver area. There they are. It's a little bit greasy. Uh, huh. I'll get a closer look at those later. It looks like there's some exposed metal. All right, so uh, that was that. Hope you guys like that. Um, as I said, that was just something that I needed to get done to the van. And um, that's where things were at at that particular time. Anyway, um, stay tuned. 
the next episode will be build episode number six will be coming out very soon and probably soon after that will be number seven as well um, they are almost ready to come out of the gate so uh, stay tuned and we'll see you soon okay thanks guys bye bye <music>